In 2001, Baba Ali launched Muslim basketball. From courtside announcers to weekly highlight films broadcasted on the internet, Muslim basketball received the attention of the national media and went on to hold the most successful Muslim basketball tournaments in the United States. In 2005, he started Muslim Games. Once again, he decided to think outside the box and produced a series of games unlike anything on the market. And within a short amount of time, thousands of games were sold around the world. In 2006, Baba Ali took the internet by storm and launched the Reminder Series. The show took video blogging to the next level and went on to receive over 5 million video views on YouTube and is currently broadcast in the UK and in the Middle East. So what is Baba Ali planning to take to the next level in 2009? HalfHourDean.com Every time I go to an Islamic conference, the one topic that keeps coming up over and over again is marriage. If you want to fill up a room with hundreds of people, just do a topic about marriage and the people will come. Not only will they come, but they'll pay attention too. You see, since there's no boyfriend-girlfriend relationship in Islam, people want to get married. I usually have a booth at these conferences to sell my products, which gives me the opportunity to interact with a lot of people and hear their interesting stories. Sometimes, single brothers hang out at my booth and tell me how hard it is to find a good sister. At the same time, you'll see sisters at the same conference claiming they can't find a good guy. So there's all these guys and all these girls and they all want to get married, but they all claim there's no one to marry. What's wrong with this picture? I'm not sure, but maybe it's because... Some guys are looking for a girl who is pure, beautiful, wears a job, beautiful, has a strong dean, and looks like a model. So why are these guys still single? So why are these guys still single? Because they're living in a dream world. <whistles> dream world. Just to let you know, there's no perfect Muslim up. And girls aren't photoshopped, they're real. On the other hand, some women are looking for a man who is handsome, wealthy, religious, wealthy, has a sense of humor, and is extremely wealthy. Single sisters, you're living in the same dream world as you single brothers. <whistles> Let us move on to phase two, the dowry. When a guy asks a woman's hand in marriage, she has a right to ask for whatever she wants as her mahar. <laughs> but some girls have this funny thinking that their mahar shows their value. They think the higher the mahar, the more the worth. I don't think so. Fact is, the lower the mahar, the more barakas in your marriage. Some families take advantage of their daughters getting married. So when a successful brother comes along, they don't see the brother. They see dollar signs. Ching ching. Ching ching. We are cashing in. Ching ching. Did you find out what she wants? Okay, where? Okay. Seventy-five thousand dollars for her. A convertible for her father, new granite kitchen counters for her mother, jet skis for her brother, jet skis, jet skis. <laughs> oh, why am I laughing? <laughs> because this is funny. <laughs> Yo, you say I'm funny. You say my videos are funny. No, man. <laughs> this right here, this is funny. Joke, joke. Am I marrying the sister or am I marrying her family? Sisters, your mahar isn't your price tag. It's a gift you ask for marriage. If you really want to get married, ask for something realistic. Otherwise, you'll be waiting a very long time before someone calls you Habibti. Next thing you know, you're at the 40 plus single sister tea party talking about how you're waiting for Brad Pitt to convert to Islam, leave Angelina, and knock on your door. Do you hear that? You don't hear knocking, do you? Do you know why you don't hear knocking? Because no one's knocking on your door. <laughs> There's no one knocking on your door. Wait a second, who's that? Is that Brad Pitt? Brad, is that you? <laughs> it's not Brad Pitt, it's me. I'm here to wake you up. Get out of your dream world and come up with a realistic mahara if you want to get married. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Hello? Are you there? Please don't tell me you're still dreaming. Come on! There's no one knocking on your door! Some girls find that they attract guys that they have no attraction to. Does this sound confusing? No problem. I want to break down some of the characters that you may just come across. The arrogant guy. Hey Ali, I think your sister is interested in me, so I just want to let you know I'm available. Uh, how do you know she's interested? <laughs> Are you kidding me? How can she not be? Whoo! Yeah. The insecure guy. Hey Ali, I was wondering like if your sister was interested in marrying someone because I know someone that might be interested in her 
and uh, if you can find out for me that if she's interested in him, um, like for example, like pretend like it's like me, and if if um, yeah, um, if she's not interested in me, I'm just joking. <laughs> but if she's interested in me, I'm not joking anymore. Huh? The shady guy. Hey Ali, what's up, my main man? What's up, my main man? Hey. Guess what? Having your brother-in-law like me is gonna get you some nice things. Oh, we do discounts, discounts, discounts. Not only do I talk fast, but I deal in cash. Cash, cash, cash. Cold hard cash if you got it. Fantastic, great. Ali, Ali, Ali. Guess who's your brother-in-law? Me, 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 me. But not yet, but don't count your chickens before they hatch. But if you do, guess what? You got Ali. <laughs> Who has the business plan and talks as fast as like this, like this. I deal with cold car cash and do well dance and everybody knows that I know that. Ali. You gotta get the message across, baby. You gotta say, yeah, that's the guy I want my brother in law. Fantastic. The slave driver. I'm interested in someone who loves to do laundry and wash dishes because not only will she be doing it for her husband, but she'll be doing it for my parents as well. I don't even know who you are. It is not important who I am. What is important is I need my home and office to be vacuumed and cleaned twice a week, my laundry done once a week, and I want my food cooked every night. I'm, I'm confused. She'll be directing all her answers and all her questions to her immediate supervisor, my mother. Okay. Are you looking for a wife or a housekeeper? My wife is my housekeeper. <laughs> At the end of the day, people get old and their wealth isn't even guaranteed. Yes, you've seen it. Poor people become rich and rich people become poor. And everyone gets wrinkled when they get old like this. The way you carry yourself is based on your dean. So that's what you should base your decision on when you're looking for someone to marry. Because if their dean is straight, then most likely everything else is straight, so you're set. Because if the ideas you carry are straight, then everything else falls into place. And inshallah, you'll have a more tranquil marriage. You want the right person who will remind you to do good deeds and discourages you from doing the bad ones. And remember, the righteous husband and wife will be together in the hereafter as well, inshallah. Isn't it amazing how when we go away from Islam, our priorities change? The things that make marriage successful, we don't see important anymore. Instead, we focus on things that society says is important, and in a few years, it becomes irrelevant. We get so caught up in this world that we forget what's important when it comes to searching for your other half. At the end of the day, Islam has a solution for everything, including what's important and what's not and what makes a marriage successful. And if you want to make your marriage successful, follow the guidelines of our Creator, inshallah. Do you know what I'm saying? This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. <laughs> this is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. And don't forget about those deals. Those deals. Those deals. Those deals. Those deals.